Well, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to yet another episode here on Life Signatures Radio. Here in this episode, we will bring to a conclusion a series we've been doing, a very short series we've been doing about legacy. We're talking about making the seconds count and letting legacy take care of itself. And so today is the last day that we're talking about that very short message and very much on point. I'm sure that uh, you've, if, been, if you've been following it, you've been learning, even as we've been going along, and that's been instructive to you, as it's been to me. Today comes to a close, and uh, tomorrow we'll start a new series. But for today, let us wrap this up. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. The question we're grappling with, the question we've been answering at the end end of the day in these episodes is this. Should we bother about legacy? Should we even think about it? Should we be so focused on thinking about what people will think or people will say about us when we're gone? The answer is simple. We might do that, but in the moment that we are being immersed in thinking about what people will say, we might be wrong at the end of the day. What we think people will remember us is not necessarily exactly what they're going to remember us for. And secondly, instead of sitting and thinking about what people are going to remember you for, why don't you make the seconds count, the day count? The information that your days are numbered is critical information enough The question is, do we have that information? Do we know? Are we aware? Are we starkly aware of the fact that time is going to come? Time is going to go. The curtain is going to close. The referee is going to blow the final whistle on our lives. What's going to be shown for what we've been alive for? That information is critical for us. And once we have that information, we know that the day counts, in fact the second counts, and the minute, and the day, and the week, and the month, and the year, the decades. We can only do decades. That's the interesting thing about our lives. For the most part, we only do decades. Come to think of it, we have very few decades to be alive. Very, very few. You can't count the decades you're going to be alive on both your, 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 your hands and finish in the fingers that is. Therefore, if that, that is the case, we learned that we've got to put urgency in what we're doing. Urgency means, number one, time is ticking. There is so much to do, so we've got to put into the time that is left all our effort. Two, urgency means when I'm involved in something at the moment, I am involved in it. I am present. I am doing everything there is to do. I am giving it my all. I am not having divided attention and the so-called multitasking. I am present. That is what urgency is all about. And yesterday, 
we learned that instead of sleepwalking in life, we choose to be intentional about the control of life and the control of the activities within the seconds that we are alive. Otherwise, it becomes so easy to sleepwalk through life. Today, even as we are closing on these episodes, one of the things that I want to share with you about legacy is purpose. At the end of the day, purpose is the reason as to why you are born, the reason as to why you and I exist, the reason as to why you are equipped the way you are equipped, the reason as to why you have a talent the way you have a talent, gift the way you have a gift. The reason as to why you are passionate about some things the way you are passionate about them, it is for a reason and for a purpose. So the question is, what's the use of our time? What's the importance of the seconds that we have in life other than to deploy the purpose, the reason for our being? What is the use of today those who are listening to me, what is the use of today? If not to deploy the purpose, the reason for why you and I are existing. I mean, of ad- what other use purpose is, of what other use, of what other purpose is time on your life? Think about that for a minute. It brings to perspective the idea of the importance of every second. As in, every second matters. If we ignore the second right now, these seconds will come back to haunt us. Time is the only resource that is limited. Normally we talk about, I am going to manage my time. Forget it. You cannot manage what you don't create and what you cannot stop. You are not the creator of time. You can only manage the activities within the fixed time frame that you have every day. We cannot add a single second on our lives. In fact, forget about our lives. We cannot add a single second on the day. We might improve technologically. I mean, all those things we've done. But never have we ever, as a human race, added a single second to the day. Never. That's how it is. You cannot talk about managing time. It is the only resource that is limited, at least in an individual's life. However, if that individual uses her time and seconds to pursue purpose, they make their purpose outlive them. And that's what legacy is now made of they keep transforming people's lives they keep recruiting others to take over from them over and over again something very amazing has happened in uganda in the month of february 2023 there's a church called watoto church that was founded by a canadian missionary called gary mark skinner him and his wife came to uganda in the 80s when the war was raging, when everyone was closing their embassy and shipping every one of their people out of Uganda, he was doing the opposite. 39 years down the line, something has happened to this man's life. He made every second count and now he was able to successfully pass on the baton to somebody else and I'm told he's on the way back to Canada for good where he came from he suffered quite a bit of upheaval several times and we're told he's writing a book about this several times people came to his house ostensibly to kill him they could see them knocking trying to knock the door down wanting to kill him but they couldn't and his wife Marilyn was, would look at him and ask why did you bring us here But his seconds counted so much so 
because he lived a life of purpose. He can tell you that he had the voice of God telling him, go to Kampala, go and plant for me a church in downtown Kampala and through that church I will touch the cities and the nations of the world. Time is the only resource that is limited, at least in an individual's life. But if that individual uses her time and seconds to pursue purpose, they will make time a resource that is unlimited. In other words, other, other than themselves, their purpose outlives them and keeps transforming the world, recruiting others to take over from them. And the list goes on and on and on and on. Look at Jesus. Look at Steve Jobs. Look at any other person of purpose. That's how a legacy is all about. Time becomes an unlimited resource because it's been built into purpose. See, purpose will always bring impact. So if your seconds are not culminating into any impact in life, of what use is time to you? Of what use is time to me? When I choose to live life for impact rather than just to make life, make it in life, or pass time, then I become problem solver. I become a solution provider. Now, legacy is made of time and that which was done within the time that I was given. If I make every second count, you don't even have to worry about my legacy. Most people who have left a massive legacy behind who are not actively pursuing legacy. That's the biggest paradox of legacy. Rather, they were invested in their now time. This is what we need to do now. This is what we've got to do now. This is what we've got to do this year in 2023. We've got to do this. And they're invested in that. The legacy always takes care of itself. Tomorrow, we will begin a new series. And in that series, we will be talking about something else. This is something about COVIDx. Those of you who don't know what that is, we're going to talk about that. Six reasons why COVIDx is smack in the middle of purpose deployment. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.